Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we're playing with new gadgets. This is supposed to be an automated way of fertilizing an aquarium. It is called the dosator. I'm sorry, I cannot say it in English. Don't know how it would sound like, so I'm just gonna say it in Romanian. It's coming from the Nerle, which is a very well-known brand in the aquarium hobby, and supposedly it works with the pressure of the actual water and slowly drips fertilizer into the aquarium. And here I have the fertilizer, again with the Nerle, this is the V30 Complete Fertilizer. have never used this fertilizer before, so it's a new thing for me. It's supposed to be a sort of all-in-one, it has all the macros and micros as well. And this device apparently works only with this fertilizer. I researched, I know, I wanted to put my Tropica fertilizer in this, but apparently it doesn't really work out that well because this is a concentrated formulation. I don't know, I might try out some stuff in the future. Now is not the time, it is the very first time that I'm trying this product. And if it works out, it means I don't have to fertilize in the morning. The plus would be you don't have to pump fertilizer in your aquarium. The minus will be you don't really get to control much of how it actually doses. It pretty much doses the same thing whether your aquarium is 50 liters or 300 liters. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Will I have an explosion of algae? I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm gonna be using it on my island scape. I was considering the Dutch, but that one already has bonus fertilizer in the medium, so maybe I shouldn't overdo it with that one, right? I can switch it if I so desire, but I think the island is the safest bet. So with that all out of the way, let's let's dig in, shall we? Let's let's shall. Do I need to adjust my brightness? I wonder. I'm gonna adjust it, and I'm pretty sure the sun will come out of the clouds. Alrighty, so inside we have the actual device. Oops, don't fall. There we go. This is it. This portion should be outside of the water and here is where the fertilizer will slowly drip. I'm gonna see if it's gonna do that. Here we have the membranes. So I googled it a little bit just to have the faintest idea of how to use this thing. Each disc has a smaller or larger opening. So depending on how big your aquarium is, you're supposed to use one of these discs. I'm guessing I'm gonna use the tiniest one because I'm using it on an 80 liter aquarium, which is towards the lower or smaller size. These, I'm not yet entirely sure what I need to do with these, but alas, we do have instructions. Let us read the dosator. How would this sound in English? Dosator. 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 Let's just call it like that. All right, I think I understand what I need to do. So, first and foremost, we need to apply one of these stickers to one of these membranes. They say don't touch the center of the membrane. Too late. I think I might have touched it. If I look back on the footage, I'm pretty sure. So for the size of my tank, they say to use ring number three, this size, because I'm gonna be using this fertilizer as a sole fertilizer. I'm not gonna be adding anything such as the S7 or whatever fertilizer you can use in conjunction with this. I'm gonna be doing that and I need to apply this sticker to the membrane as best as possible or as straight as possible. Let's see. Okay, looks good enough. It's important to have this side with the blue line on the outside. If you take a closer look, you'll see the membrane has a blue line. Don't know if that was obvious from this distance. And now we need to place this ring like so. Then just add or screw in the cap. Yep, looks like in the picture. Then we can remove this piston. It's a piston apparently. And we can pour in our fertilizer and you have some markings on this reservoir. You have 50, 100, 150, 200. This represents the size of the aquarium. Let's get you in closer on that as well. So you want to fill with fertilizer up to whatever volume your tank has. I have 80 liters. I'm gonna fill it up all the way to 100 because it's very well planted. 
and I don't think I can estimate 80. So I'm gonna pour gently. Oh, this is a very nice pump. I use Tropica fertilizers. Those pumps get super dirty. I need to clean them every time I use them. So now we need to insert back this piston and we need to push it all the way down until liquid almost drips from this little faucet. So let's do that gently. Let's do a close up of this. You wanna see me fail close up? Let's do this. Do we see when the fertilizer travels up? Technology, okay. I'm gonna be stopping here, maybe a little more. Okay, that's, that's about enough. I'm gonna be stopping here now let's install it into the tank. Before we do, what I read in the instruction is that you should keep the piston, so the neck of the piston outside of the water. You do not want water to enter the reservoir because it will promote algae. You wanna keep it as clean from aquarium water as possible. So I'm gonna make sure that the level of water is here, about at least one centimeter below this portion, right? Let's go to the tank now. So actually I want to install it very close to the outlet of my filter. Should I put it here? Is here? No, it's not. You know, I'm gonna put it on this side. I simply have no more space there. It would have been nice to have it right on top of the outlet so that whatever drips just gets dispersed into the tank really fast, but I don't have space. So I'm just gonna put it right here. One of the suction cups is just above the rim of my tank. Let's just go a little bit lower. There we go. I keep a pretty high level in my tank, as you can see. So anyway, this will have to do. All right, so here's a better angle of the situation. This is the spout that is supposed to drip fertilizer into the tank. Hopefully it will start to do that. In the instructions, it says it will start to drip after 12 to 24 hours. And it's supposed to last for about a month or so. Anyway, so what it's supposed to do now is let water gently and slowly seep in the reservoir and push out the fertilizer slowly dripping in the water, mimicking a, let's say, slow and continuous type of fertilization, which is always better than a big quantity at once. Plants absorb nutrients slowly and gradually, not everything at once and then they stop, right? So this sounds like a great idea on paper. Will it work? I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm tempted to sit here and watch that drip <laughs> fall, but no, I'm not gonna do that. But I will keep you up to date with my observations. I really hope it works out. So I was saying I've never used this fertilizer, but hey, if it has the correct nutrients, why would it be bad, right? <laughs> Aesthetically wise, it's a gadget. I don't dislike it. I'm not the type of person to dislike, let's say, gadgets hanging on the aquarium. I have no problem with the inlet and outlet, with the skimmer, with my drop checker, with the CO2, with this thing, no problem whatsoever. It's uh, it's gear for me. Yes, if it distracts way too much from the scape, I might have an issue, but on the sides, I typically don't care all that much, particularly when the plants will start to grow. They're just gonna be lost in the decor, so I don't really mind. It's interesting, I like looking at it. We'll see if it starts to accumulate algae like nothing else, but I don't think so. This tank is pretty algae free. That's why mainly I'm doing this here. I barely had algae issues in this tank because I did the dark start and that worked wonderfully. Anyway, enough blabbing. Let's come back in a few days, maybe a month. I don't know. I'll give you my updates, my ideas. It will take longer for the plants to react, obviously. Don't look at the s repens It has some deficiencies, yes, but this is not a very old tank and the plants are all coming from in vitro cups. So yeah, it took a while for them to establish and convert. So I'm not gonna consider that yellowing on the older leaves of S. repens, but any new deficiency, yeah, I'll take it into account, we'll see. So I'll see you when I have something interesting to show you. So I've been reading on the fertilizer label and um, yeah, it's a complete fertilizer for aquariums that has no phosphate and nitrate. Um, so I need to supplement those because I have a lot of plants and the fish ain't producing enough. <sighs> okay, so a little incomplete there, but yeah, we'll see how it does. All right, so here we are about two weeks later. I have been using 
this uh, device and it is working as advertised. It is dripping slowly fertilizer there. We can see Mango just chilling there. It's his favorite spot. <laughs> I'm gonna take it away, spoilers, but um, it is working as intended. But the effects of it, I, I really don't like. So I used it on this tank because this was the most stable tank. I did not have much algae on this tank at all. It was the one I was most confident in. And well, let me just give you some close-ups. I developed quite a bit of an algae issues. Issues? Uh, quite a bit of an algae issue. On the back there, we can see the Proserpinaca, which is not only covered in algae, yes honey, it does not look good, but it's also a little bit stunted, um, I'm guessing because of the algae. Overall, on the glass, do you see it's a little fuzzy? Yeah, there's a lot of algae. This has not been sitting here a lot. I do full maintenance once a week on this guy and in a few days, it, it's just back. It does not look nice. Do not mind the wild plants. I am well aware that these guys need to go. They will be replaced with something else. We're not judging the aesthetics right now. We're judging the effects. Look at this, the amount of algae and maybe even cyanobacteria there. I used to have absolutely clean pipes. I used to have the same things that I have here. And what do I have here? A clean tank, no algae, not much or no algae at all. Can we see here? It, yeah, that's, that's a leaf, it's not algae. But this guy, I think it's clear to see, it looks a lot better and this was not as stable as the other tank, or at least I didn't think it was. On this tank, I still use my Tropica fertilizers. So I have the Specialized Nutrition and the Premium Nutrition. One has ammonia, one doesn't. I dose them alternatively because I don't want to dose too much ammonia just yet since the tank is young. So yeah, that's my dosing schedule, which could be put on a pump for the future. But here I did not dose anything else other than the Denarly fertilizer. So what I think happened was initially, judging by the color of it, it was a lot more concentrated than now. Now probably is half what it used to be. It's very diluted in my opinion. The color changed a lot. It is supposed to last for about a month. That's what the instructions say, but I don't know about that. There's still fertilizer in there, but I think it was way too concentrated because it determined this algae growth. And this tank was fertilized in the same way with the Tropica fertilizers, one pump a day. And one pump is two milliliters, I think. And I did not have algae. This was my Pride and Joy tank. Now it's full of algae. <sighs> yeah, so I think it's not ready for the system. Maybe the system is much better used at a fuller or at a different stage of the aquarium where the plants are much older, the tank is fuller and so on. You know, I think it's a little, too much for a fresh aquarium, let's say. So I will remove it. I will sacrifice this dose that I have here because I don't want to put it in the other tank. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to. The other one is fairly new as well. The plants are not grown in just yet. So I don't think it is suited. Um, for now, that has been the review. Not suited for beginner aquariums, in my opinion. Let me know if you tried it and it worked great, but for me, it's, it's too much. It's too concentrated. And also the fact that it does not have nitrogen is a no-no for me because I run pretty heavily planted tanks and I need that nitrogen. So I would need something like the Tropica, I think it's the specialized nutrition, um, but I was willing to try it. And although with the algae issues, you'd think it has nitrogen, but no, apparently it doesn't. So yeah, I see no other reason for the algae bloom that has occurred in the past two weeks, which has never been there. So yeah, I will pin it on that because I have no other culprit. I really don't. And the tank next to it is absolutely fine. So that has been my review. It does work. So the product absolutely works as intended with the pressure. It drips one drop every couple of hours or so. I noticed it drips at night. It drips in the day. It doesn't matter. When you clean the tank and there is no more water, put pressure on it, it goes down, but then it starts again. That was a bird. So from that point of view, it works. As for the fertilizer itself, I think it doses a little bit too much, at least at the beginning, and I don't think it's suitable for fresh aquariums in the sense of new aquariums. Also, I have a 20 gallon. Maybe it's a little tiny. Maybe you're gonna have a better time 
with bigger aquariums I just don't believe it's gonna work for everybody and I'm taking it off right now sorry mango boy I'm gonna have to remove your little hang place but I'm gonna put something else for him there to chill he is old and it's starting to show he's not as active anymore he's not eating as fast and you know his appetite is not what it used to be so I, I don't know he's He's kind of old, he's around four at this point, if I'm not mistaken, which is quite a lot for a beta. But anyway, that is about it on the Denerle Dosator. I will not use it for now. I will start using it again, give it another go when the tank is fully mature. I, I think it's a little too much for fresh tanks. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this, hope you learned something. If you were curious about it, those are my thoughts. If you have used it and you have your own experience, put it in the comments, let us know how it went for you. And with that said, subscribe for more aquarium videos and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time, bye.